Hey everyone, I'm Marla Brock and welcome to Coover Immigration. If you're looking for real talk about Canadian immigration laws, policies, and programs, you are definitely in the right place. I'm Marla Brock, I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant, and I'm also an American lawyer for more than 20 years now. I'm going to be your guide through Canada's most complex immigration programs, sharing with you what I know in a way that's easy for you to understand. Today's topic is Canada's Caregiver Pilot Program, and I'm going to highlight for you five major issues that applicants are seeing across the world, and these applicants have chosen to start their applications on their own, which we do not recommend for permanent residency. But let's get started. Number one, forms. As you guys probably know, Immigration Canada requires lots of forms in their applications. In this case, the application is online, meaning there is an online platform to submit your Caregiver Pilot Program application. However, you need to be aware that there are going to be a lot of forms that you have to download, complete offline, and then upload. So let's highlight some of the issues. First of all, the forms from Immigration Canada tend to be secure. So you need to have an updated copy of Adobe. We recommend Adobe Acrobat. In our office, we use Adobe Acrobat Professional to give us the ability to make adjustments to the forms as needed. These forms need to be completed, they need to be validated, and they need to be saved before they can be uploaded. So you need to be prepared to do all of those things, and it is critically important that you have the right version of Adobe wherever you are in the world. Number two, steady Wi-Fi. As I said earlier, this application is submitted online, but there are some questionnaires that you must actually complete in the portal online. And that means you need to have steady access to Wi-Fi or steady access to an internet connection. It is very important if you're going to be submitting this application online. Number three, the supporting documentation. So this is permanent residency, which means they want to know everything about you. And there is a lot of supporting documentation, whether it's your PR sized photos that need to be uploaded, birth certificates, marriage certificates, transcripts of records. Um, there's, it seems like there's an infinite list of supporting documentation. What you need to know is that you must have the ability to digitize that. You must have the ability to convert it to the right format. You need to be able to combine the files and then you need to be able to compress it. So what a lot of people don't realize is that when you're uploading things to Immigration Canada, there is a size restriction on the file. So you need to have the right software in place to be able to combine those files, reduce the size, and then upload it. In our office, we use Adobe Photoshop, which is absolutely not a cheap software, but it, we find it to be fantastic. And we use that to combine things like photos, images, and then we turn them into PDFs, and then we reduce the size, and then we upload them. So we do everything in an organized way. If you are doing this, you need to be absolutely prepared in advance to have everything ready to upload to Immigration Canada. Next thing, credit card, all right? A lot of people don't realize Immigration Canada takes their payments online. And if you're applying for permanent residency, the application fees can be substantial. They can be high. And so you need to make sure that whatever credit card you are using, that you are authorized to use it for international transactions and that you need to make sure the limit on the card is high enough to pay the application fees. And finally, the job offer. A lot of our applicants worldwide, actually they're not our applicants, a lot of applicants worldwide are experiencing issues with the job offer. This is because your employer in Canada likely does not understand the requirements of this job offer. In addition to all of the, all of the different terms of employment they have to fill out, they also need to have a clear understanding of what the provincial labor standards are in the province where you're going to be working. So that means for those of you that are working in Ontario, 
overtime kicks in after 44 hours. For those of you that are working in British Columbia, it's after 40 hours. And so you need to make sure that your employer completes that job offer form perfectly so that there are no issues with your application later on. So what we are seeing worldwide is people asking us questions about how to deal with their employer. So those are the major five issues, guys. And it goes without saying, if you're planning to do this on your own, which again, we don't recommend, the instruction guide is 107 pages. You need to make sure that you have read that, okay? Let me, let me say that again. You need to make sure that you have read that instruction guide before you even get started. If all of this sounds overwhelming to you, well, frankly, it's permanent residency. It's the biggest application, in my opinion, that you can ever do for Canada. Bigger even than citizenship, for sure. So if you're going to make an investment in any application process in Canada, this is the one. If you haven't started yet, now is the time. Okay, so what we always recommend for permanent residency applications is that you get the advice and the support of an immigration professional. That can be an RCIC, that can be a lawyer. Make sure they are licensed in Canada. And I would strongly suggest that you get someone that is in Canada and up to date on these applications. I hope that has been helpful to you. Please feel free to share it with friends that are also applying under the pilot programs. As I find out more things that people are seeing worldwide in this process, I am always going to share with you what I know. If you need support, you know how to reach us. We do process these applications as well. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I hope to see you here in Canada very soon. Bye for now.